Hey y'all, what's up? I'm gonna be doing a haul today. A haul for y'all. I'm shooting a haul for Whoa, So I'm gonna shoot a haul. I've never done one of these. Obviously, if you've watched videos on YouTube, I'm sure you've seen a haul of some sort. So I just bought a whole bunch of stuff like in the past month-ish, three weeks-ish, and I thought I'd share it with you um, if you're looking for some good steals. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is technology, probably because it's probably the most boring to you, but this is probably the thing I'm the most excited about in this video because I'm a tech nerd. So. I recently purchased this Focusrite Scarlett microphone, Scarlett Studio, and this is a condenser mic. So I've upgraded from my blue Snowball mic, which is that white one that maybe you've seen in some of my cover videos. It also comes with this interface, which is cool and it came with headphones and this was all just a little over $200. I think this is for like a baseline condenser mic. This is a good steal. So I just bought that on Amazon. So now I'm going to go into accessories and clothing. We'll start with accessories. Um, I recently bought these sunglasses and they're the like orangey yellow reflective lenses and then it's a lavender frame and I just think they're super cute. Perfect for the summertime. And then I also bought these blue reflective lenses, Club Master style ones. And I got both of these at Cotton On, two for $15, which is a pretty good deal. Am I right or am I right? I'm right, okay. So recently I went to the Nike factory and um, we had, I don't, I don't know if they're common, but we have one in San Diego at an outlet. We have a Nike factory outlet. Did I? Whatever. I don't know if I just made sense. But I bought these fly knits, which I know they retail for about 130 and I got them for 70 bucks. Very good deal. Fly knits, good deal. Also at the Nike factory, I got these Nike Pro spandex. They're like purple polka dot. And I believe they retail for like 20, 30 bucks. And I got them for six dollars because they were having a huge sale. So I got those at the Nike factory. Um, and I also did some online shopping and shopping at Victoria's Secret and I got some things. Oh, ah! I almost fell. The first thing I got was this cute bikini top. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this a couple times. And it has like this really cute backing to it, which I think is very cute. I just said cute twice. And I got these bikini bottoms. Bikini bottom and um, They have ruching in the butt, you know to make your cheeks look good and I also Bought this black pair which you know pretty standard you're gonna probably need a black bottom And I also bought this bra which I'm wearing right now So like obviously I can't show you but I will show you the back. It's a super cute halter style and I like how those bras are coming in style because I feel like it's a good excuse to show your bra when you're wearing a shirt because all the shirts have, you know, different styles nowadays where the bra is an issue if it's showing. So I like these bras now. That was Victoria's Secret and then I went to Kohl's and I did some shopping and I mean this is boring but I got a shirt which I've already worn it like multiple times but it's like this double v-neck shirt. It's like this cute shirt. Well anyway, I got um, I have like this one t-shirt dress that is like the same exact style as this But I always like would tie it up to wear as a shirt So I'm glad I got one exact same thing but in a shirt Then I also got this one graphic tee and my family's going to do like a little local um, Vacation so I got this to wear at Universal Studios Harry Potter World It says the wand shows the wizard and I'm gonna bring my Hermione wand and I'm so excited to go I haven't been to Universal Studios since I was like seven years old, so pretty stoked And then we're also going to Disneyland and I bought this stitch shirt because Everyone tells me I look like Lilo So I thought it would be fitting that I get a stitch shirt, you know what I'm saying girl Also, I forgot to add at Cotton On I got this t-shirt and it says I'm so excited about this it says hardcore and there's an avocado because I love avocados and this is such a cute shirt I'm excited I forgot to also add in my shoes I got this at Nordstrom Rack and also if you follow me on Insta you'll know that I wear these one like wedge late tie-up shoes a lot and they're in kind of like a nude color 
sand nude color and I got them in black because um, hello they're like the best shoes ever they're not super high but they're perfect for going out and they're just sexy enough so I got them in black and I don't even think I've worn the black ones yet just because I feel like nude and brown goes better with everything but I have a black one just in case you know you need black and I think they were like 40 bucks not too bad I have a bunch of makeup that I was sent and or that I bought um, so I'll just go by the certain area on the face okay so first we'll start off with the face I bought the makeup forever H ultra HD foundation and I've watched some youtubers say that this is one of their favorite foundations and a couple of my friends have used it and they recommended it so I decided to purchase it and this is probably like the most expensive foundation I've ever bought it's kind of ridiculous but it is a very good and it's a very oop, it's a very thin um, foundation it's a very light thin foundation but I think the coverage is very good and it says it's supposed to be like creative for the very latest high-definition technologies of the film and TV industry and you know that's what I studied in college so I figured I should try this out it was like a sign so I'm in the color 128 y415 yes very good foundation um, okay I'll go with concealer next I was sent this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer and it is very good for, I'll show you, it comes in like this little bottle like this and the applicator is actually pretty big for a concealer I feel like. It goes on very light, like it's very good coverage but the way when you put it on it's very light. Um, it looks like it's a lot but it blends out very evenly and very light and it's nice. Okay, then I was sent this Laura Mercier Universal uh, translucent powder and let me tell you I never used to put powder on my face just because I don't know my combination skin like it would make me um, be very dry and I used I was using the NYX setting spray for a while and that's just kind of, I feel like I was putting chalk on my face like it was so dry but this one is like moisturizing yet dry yet it keeps my makeup on all day like this is my makeup still going from the day after using this so I would highly recommend that um, also, I was given this Elizabeth Arden Beautiful Color um, Highlighter and let me just say this is probably like my favorite product that I was given because it smells so good like it smells like you're putting laundry detergent on your face and it smells so clean and so good and it's very light and cold when it goes on so it's a good highlighter. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, next I got this NARS Survival Kit, and I believe this just came out in the stores, and it comes with some mascara, like a little tube of mascara, cute, and this little NARS lip gloss, and this one is in the color Fantasia, and then it also comes with this little palette, and inside it is couple eyeshadows a highlighter and a blush so you know if you're ever trapped in the woods or trapped and you need to survive just bring this NARS survival kit and you're gonna look bomb af when the hot helicopter guy comes and rescues you that's you know every girl's dream okay next I'm gonna go on to eyes I have this Flawless Definition Volumizing Mascara from Benefit and I've used this product before. I will say this product does kind of smell and I always think like my mascara is old but I think it's just the formula. And also this Benefit, no my bad, Bare Minerals. Oh this is Bare Minerals too, my, just totally kidding, Bare Minerals. And this is Bare Minerals Lash Domination Volumizing Mascara and I like this one because the wand is like very small and works really well. Okay, also for eyes, I got these Urban Decay Razor Sharp Eyeliners, and these are new products that just came out, and they, I've swatched them on me, and they stay on you forever. Literally, the only thing that'll take it off is, like, I use micellar water to take off my makeup. That is, like, the only thing that helps it take off but like you'll wash put your hand under the water it won't come off but this is in the color deep end I have revolver uh, push bump and fireball and they're very 
I'm gonna swatch them for you. So here is Fire. There's Fireball. Pink, corally glitter color. Deep end, like a turquoise tealy color. That also has a shimmer in it. So ugly, but that I swatched it on my hand, not the color. It's just plain white, and it's literally kind of like you're putting a white out on your eyes. It's kind of funny. Okay, this is the color Revolver, and it's like this gray charcoal color. And then it's dark navy blue. Very pretty. So those are it for the eyeliners. Um, they look like this. They all have this silver bottom. And each time I like open these, they I feel like I'm opening it backwards. Like I feel like the small part should be, you know, my applicator, but it's actually the container. So just be aware. But yes, I got these colors and they're gorge. Okay, now moving on to lips. I got this lipstick queen. Um, Hello Sailor lip gloss and this in product is so cool. Okay, so it looks blue and it kind of will freak you out You know when you first have it, but the color of it brings out the pink in your lips So this applicator is pink too and you just like swatch it and you can't even see it Okay, you can't really see it, but it, it brings out the natural cool tones and pinks in your lips so when I put this on and then you know went about my day and I look back in the mirror and my lips were so pink and it's just because this lip gloss just brings out those pinks. Pretty cool. Okay, then I got this Buxom uh, liquid lipstick and we'll swatch that. It's just like this orangey red color. Then I have this Bare Minerals color lipstick in nude and it's a pinky lipstick and it goes on pretty sheer so I like it because it's kind of like a moisturizing lipstick and I also have this NARS lip gloss in Chelsea girls and I'll just swatch this it kind of reminds me of Kylie Jenner's like lip kit because the lip gloss is super pigmented that's the color right there super pigmented right then I got this mini lipstick, and this is in the color Mini's Perfect Red Lipstick, which I think is the only lipstick that came out of that collection. But it has this super cute gold polka dot bottle, and then you open it, and then there's the imprint of Mini's um, like head, and it says uh, XOXO Mini on, on it. So I don't really want to use this because it's like way too pretty. But I'm interested to see if the red looks good on me because red doesn't always work with my skin tones. But that's pretty cute. Okay, and then lastly, I got this Too Faced Le Matte Color Drenched Matte Lipstick. And this is in the color Man Eater. And I think this color is so gorgeous. It's like this dark plum maroon color. And I die. Like, it's so pretty. Um, it's that bottom color that I swatched right there. Oh my goodness. That is my collective haul, clothes, technology, everything that's been purchased um, or given to me in the past month-ish. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more hauls, give make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below and stay tuned for more videos. I kind of lagged this last week. I didn't post any videos, but um, expect videos every single week from me because we finna do this, okay? Um, I hope to see you guys soon. I will see you guys soon because I'm gonna post a video soon. Mm-hmm. All right, bye guys. <laughs>